The scientific community has been on an unstoppable search to look for alien life for decades. Along with that, scientists have been waiting patiently for a signal from potential life forms trying to contact us here on Earth. But what are we looking for? And if we are, how on Earth are we going to decipher it? Interestingly enough, scientists aim their research towards our fellow mammals, specifically cetaceans, like whales and dolphins. A man by the name of Lawrence Doyle asserts this notion with research called information theory. Doyle claims we must look at the way animals communicate with one another in order to communicate with aliens in the future. When we listen to dolphins, whales, and other cetaceans, we don't specifically know what they're saying, but we know that there is a structure and system to their speech. Humpback whales sing in order to socialize and organize hunts. Dolphins use high-pitched chirps to call to one another. Research has shown that dolphins actually have names within their groups and have a structured form of communication in order to work in their pods. The concept that these animals follow mathematical order in their noises is called Zipf's Law, named after George Kingley Zipf, an American linguist. Zipf studied what are the most common letters and words in the English language. Words like I and A or more common ones. And this is true across all languages. Zipf's law says that we use a lot of simple and easy words that construct the basis of our sentence. And then we add more complex words to our sentences to decorate them and make them more specific. Lawrence Doyle, a research scientist, says this is necessary to deciphering languages, but not sufficient. Doyle argues that for a language to be a language, it needs conditional probabilities for example, the letter U follows the letter Q in most words. And if I were to ask the question, how are today, you'd probably guess the word was U. Language has conditional probability, and Lawrence Doyle believes that it can be found in humpback whales. Before we can say that we're ready to decipher alien messages, we must learn to decipher messages from these marine mammals. Humpback whales use specific song-like calls for communicating hunts, socializing, and mating among other purposes. When there's noise in the water from other sources, a whale call can become garbled, but the recipient will understand the whale song, and they also slow down their communication when there's noise. And this is something we could look for if alien life was trying to communicate with us, having to deal with the interference in space. Is there a universal conditional probability that connects all life? If we can figure this out, then we'll be a step ahead if we were to ever come into contact with alien life. Doyle also talks about an encephalization quotient, which is basically a measurement of intelligence of communications of species. For example, using the quotient, we'd be able to know the lower level communication could be linked to less intelligent species and more complex communication linked to more intelligent species. So if we were to receive a message from extraterrestrial life, we'd know how intelligent their language is. Scientists have been working hard for years on a way to communicate with intelligent animals such as dolphins, chimpanzees, and whales. And if we were able to do that, we are one step closer to successful communication with alien life. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe down below, and also hit the bell notification if you want to be notified every time we upload. Leave us a comment down below on what you think about this. Do you think we'd be able to communicate with aliens if they contacted us? This has been Ancient Code. Thanks for watching.